Brabham is a name that has been associated with fast cars and fast people for decades, but it's a name that's been lacking from the automotive scene for quite some time. But now we're in Australia House in the heart of London for the unveiling of this, the Brabham BT62. It has just been unveiled by David Brabham, son of legendary Australian racing driver Jack Brabham and a very accomplished racer in his own right. And it marks the return of the Brabham name to manufacturing. This track-only beast will be powered by a naturally aspirated V8. No hybrids, not even a turbo, an honest-to-goodness, old-fashioned, unassisted V8. It has been developed from another manufacturer's 5-litre V8, but Brabham have made it their own to such an extent they won't even tell us who originally made the engine. Although, as it's a naturally aspirated V8, it's a pretty short list of possible candidates. Brabham have bored out the engine to 5.4 litres and it now develops 700 horsepower. With a curb weight of less than 1,000 kilos, this puts the power to weight ratio at 720 brake per tonne, which is a lot. Peak torque is 442 pounds feet. At full chat, the Brabham BT62 will produce 1200 kilograms of downforce, which, given the size of that wing, seems totally plausible. No word on top speed or acceleration numbers yet, but it's not a large leap of imagination to think it will be pretty brisk. Looks wise, it's an incredibly attractive package. You can be forgiven for seeing hints of Ferrari and Lamborghini here and there, but overall, function seems to be driving design. And given how much downforce this thing should produce, that's understandable. It is, however, an extremely sleek and evocative shape, and it will look right at home out on the racetrack. The colour scheme of this car pays homage to Jack Brabham's 1966 car that won the French Grand Prix that year. The first 35 cars that will be produced will each be liveried in tribute to the 35 Grand Prix victories Jack had over his career. Brabham qualifies itself as an Anglo-Australian company, but the BT62 is an Australian car. It will be produced down under, and that makes it the only car Australia now makes. So when you think about it, Australia, out of all of the car producing countries, produces cars with the highest average speed anywhere in the world. That's something the Aussies can be proud of. This is the first step for the new company, and I for one am excited to see the Brabham name coming back. It's too early to say where the company will go from here, but it's not a huge leap to imagine we'll see a version of this car in motor racing soon, and perhaps after that a foray into developing a road car. Only time will tell though, but for now we can look, admire, and line up for a chance to get ourselves behind the wheel for a drive. With a price tag of a million pounds plus taxes and a production run of only 70, this isn't a car we're going to see a huge amount of in the wild. But having the Brabham name back in the auto industry is incredibly exciting. And maybe soon we'll see a road version of this car. But for now, let us know what you think about the BT62.